Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi my fellow Junebugs, thank you so much for joining me again in this video. Today I wanted to just jump on here really quickly to do a video that I had asked if you guys wanted to see on my Instagram and quite a few of you guys did request me to do so. Um, honestly, it's, it's like a really quick one, but the reason I wanted to film this was I just wanted to, you know, address the fact that I am still going to be uploading like luxury and handbag videos and I know it might be in bad taste for some people for me to continue doing that with everything that's going on but I wanted to just jump on here and say I get it like I, I want to apologize if it feels insensitive but for me I personally when all of this is going on around us I don't want to go on YouTube and watch more about it I honestly want to go on YouTube to watch the things that I normally like watching, watch the things that make me smile, make me happy and it is these type of videos so I like to have a bit of an escape. A lot of people are you know addressing the fact that this is a little bit of that and um, you know obviously I'm not going to be buying as many handbags but like there are going to be several handbags that I've bought recently um, prior to coronavirus era that I'm still going to be sharing with you and I hope you guys don't mind um, you know if I do do that um, but Guys, I know that it is crazy times right now. I get that. I am not an idiot. I'm very well aware of that. I work in healthcare. Like, I'm a GP. We are at the front lines. I am seeing sick people all the time. I am facing the fact that I might be exposed to it eventually. Like, my heart really goes out to anyone who's been affected by coronavirus right now. It is crazy times with the restrictions, with, you know, businesses shutting down. I'm really, from the bottom of my heart, I feel you because I see patients, you know, who, who will not have a job for the next six months. And, you know, we are facing the R word, which is recession. And it's very, very real. And apart from, you know, just people getting sick, I worry about people's mental health. So, I get it and I do not want to contribute to the problem so if this will make you feel like sad or depressed please just don't watch it but I just want to let you know that this is this video was made in goodwill and it's just for me an escape and it's like what I like to do when I'm not out there seeing sick patients all the time so with that disclaimer I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys still enjoy this I hope you still subscribe and continue watching um but today the video that I wanted to share with you is actually how I go about shortening this strap so this is the um Louis Vuitton Damier Azure and I have made a video a handbag unboxing video on this I will put the link in the info bar below but I asked you guys if you wanted to see how I actually shorten the strap because I have been wearing this so much lately it is actually autumn in Australia at the moment. I know I'm looking quite summery but that's because it's still quite warm. Since discovering how to shorten the strap without having to like use a hair tie or fiddle around with it too much, I have gotten so so much wear out of this. Now I've only managed to figure out how to shorten the strap like one length so it's not like if this is too short I'm sorry I don't have a, a, a better solution for you but this is how I shorten this strap using the strap that it comes with and bear in mind I'm five foot tall so Basically, how I've gotten around this dilemma is I've actually sort of shortened that, the strap this way. So it is in, tucked inside, but you know, you don't have to, like when you open the bag, it's not going to unravel. It's not like I've just looped it through. Um, it's very, very secure and the actual strap itself is hanging on to the D-ring, which means that it's not damaging the bag either. So very quickly I just wanted to share with you how it looks so you can maybe figure it out yourself if you don't want to watch the whole video this is basically how I have looped it so that you can see clearly how I've gone ahead and done it so basically I've just hooked it onto the D-ring still but I have looped it through the um, looped it through the little slit in the vachetta so let me just un hook that so I can show you exactly what I've done so what you want to do is you want to grab your strap and um, usually there is a little hook normally what you do is you hook it through um, so you loop through one of the D-rings it doesn't matter which one just pick a D-ring and loop it through like that loop it through the other side like this so now it's looped through both of them as you can see you want to grab this strap I'm going to grab where this hook is. I'm going to grab this hook. You want to 
do this like that. As you can see, there's a little slit. You're going to thread the other end of the strap through that and then attach it onto the steering here. So if I just show you, basically, we're going to get this hook here, thread it through there. I hope this is nice and clear. Just like that. As we thread through, we're going to hook it onto this steering. So you have this little concoction and then you just pull through and it, what happens is you've actually just attached the hook to the D-ring but you've um, secured the other end of the strap as well. So the whole thing is quite secure um, without it affecting the vachetta. So then what will happen is you close it and it will look like this. And so opening it up, it won't come off because it's hooked through the D-ring. Because, you know, normally some people just cross it like that, but then it'll come off as soon as you lift the flap. But that won't do that because of the D-ring that's securing that strap there. So some people might worry that, you know, when you open the bag, it gets in the way. If you do not want to have this in the inside, what you can actually do is put it on this top and then have the strap on top and then it's sort of like this and you know that works too so you have this um, the vachetta on the outside and it looks like that I don't like that I like that seamless look I don't like having the vachetta on show it just yeah I don't prefer it but it's up to you and then another option you can do because uh, because it's hooked up is you can double up the strap really easy as well and then you've got a little shoulder bag just like that and it's not going to come undone. So that is a really easy way of hacking the strap to make it sort of fit you. Um, as I said, like I've shortened it but I can't really shorten it like multiple different lengths. It's just the one length. So this might end up being quite short on you. It's perfect for me because it hits me just on the waist. If you want to see how short it gets, you can check out my Instagram. I will have photos of me wearing this bag because I absolutely love it. So anyways, that is my little uh, strap hack for the um, Louis Vuitton Damier Azure PM. Anyways guys, that is it. That is just a really quick video for me. The main reason I wanted to do this video separately was just to address the fact that I still plan on making videos and I hope you guys don't mind that. I hope you guys understand that the reason I make videos is not to be insensitive, not to be a dick. I literally just make these videos because I enjoy watching them, I enjoy making them and I feel like there's a, a lot of you guys who still enjoy that as well. Obviously if the videos I make make you uncomfortable, please it's not worth it. Just um, exit out, unsubscribe for now and I will catch you guys up the next time um, when the coronavirus situation settles down. I will not, I, I honestly will not mind it. You do what is best for you. I just want you to look after your mental health, look after your family. So I just hope that everyone is in good health, in good spirit. We are going to be okay. We're going to make it through. This is going to be a very very different few months it's crazy times already but just stay in good spirits and we'll see it through it but in the meantime i hope you guys join me again in another video and i will see you guys in my next one Bye. -bye.